at home COVID tests have been distributed and more are on the way. And once you take one, health experts do have some very specific advice. We have 43 Paul Petit joining us live to break it all down for us. Paul. Yeah, Brad, it took me three hours to get tested at the drive through site over at Pinnacle Hills Promenade in Rogers last week, and no one who is feeling ill wants to sit in their car that long. That's why the Department of Health encourages you to do what it takes to get an at-home test and then trust the results. False positives are very rare, very rare compared to, um, uh, you know, the false negatives. So if anything is positive, I would uh, uh, still uh, consider that as a positive, you know, positive test. And, and if you are still doubtful and you want to go, go and get tested, um, you know, you, you can go and get tested. I would urge you to get tested the same day. And of course, the faster you learn you're positive for COVID, the quicker you can isolate to ensure you don't spread it to other members of your family. Now, if the at-home test comes out negative, but you're feeling symptoms, Dr. Patil advises to assume you have the virus, take proper precautions, and seek the more accurate PCR test. Now, as far as getting your hands on an at-home test, that's the big challenge right now. Go to 4029tv.com for a listing on where to go. Also, starting Wednesday, you can request a rapid take-home test at covidtests.gov. Now, keep in mind, it could take 7 to 12 days to arrive. We are live at home in Rogers, Paul Petit, 4029 News.